Hello and welcome on this new video. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly set up your Minecraft server for Shopbot. You'll see it's very simple and very quick. First thing first, you need to download the plugin. So you can go on shopbot.site and download it by clicking on Minecraft or simply go on Spygot. All the links will be down in the description and download the plugin just there. Now that you downloaded the plugin, go into your server folder, you know, where you have all the folders of your server and go into your plugin folder and paste your shopbot.jar here. So I'm going to start this, the Minecraft server. Okay, so the server is running. You can see that I'm running the latest version of the Shabbat plugin. And I didn't say it earlier, but if you're running on a Bengi code server, there's also a Shabbat plugin for that. The link will be down in the description and it's exactly the same process for it. You just need to put your Shabbat plugin into your plugin folder of your bugging code server. So now if we refresh this folder, we'll see a Shabbat folder happening here. And I know that for bugging code servers, you will have a little config file uh, named Shabbat config or something like that, that you need to open. Here we have a folder. Open the folder and here's the config. So here's the config file. We can see that we have a password, a port and a security info. So the first thing is the password you need to put a strong one for this video i'm just going to put one two three four five all right and a port the port will be needed when you create your minecraft product and this port needs to be opened on your minecraft server so here i'm just going to leave it as 4734 and security info it's a little bonus of the shop bot plugin it will logs every time someone's tries to send fake products to your minecraft server with his ip address so you can know when someone is trying to do some bad stuff on your server so i'm going to hit save and you need to completely restart your minecraft server the reload won't work so let's restart it all right great the server has been restarted so now let's head to discord okay now we are on discord uh, be sure that you have the shop admin role uh, right there and shopbot installed on your server. And to test if I correctly set up shopbot on my Minecraft server, there's a very useful command. It's slash test Minecraft connection. So here I'm going to put my IP address. Now that I've put my IP address, obviously you can't see it because it's uh, blurred for obvious reasons. And you will need to put two dots just like in your products. So two dots and now the port. So 4734. It's the same port that we have here in the config file. All right, let's hit tab. Now the password, it's very simple. It's the password that you set just here. One, two, three, four, five. Tab and enter. And yes, it's working. Look at your in-game chat. Shopbot is correctly configured. So if we go take a look in our console, we can see Discord server connected. Great, you just set up Shopbot correctly. If you have an error, Shopbot will tell you bad password or server offline or something like that. If you have any more questions, the Discord server is, is here to help you, please open a ticket and I will answer you. See you in the next one.